excited to get started with our Devo today. Looking forward to what God's Word has to say to you and to me. So, we're going to begin in the beginning. So, we're going to read a couple of verses to you out of Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then I just want to read this one little, little tiny blurb out of uh, chapter 3. It says, Then God said, You know, as I read that, I think about many times how I've thought, you know, just thought through the things that people have said to me through the years about Genesis 1-1. There's so much in just that very beginning part of it. But one of the things it says in the beginning, it starts off with the idea, there's a presupposition that God exists. God's not explaining, you know, just like when we started the Devo today, we were kind of talking through, well, how much of an introduction do I say? Do I say this is Jim? Do I say, what do I say? You know, well, this is the same thing with this. I didn't just jump in. I figure you probably know, have an idea of where you are. Well, the same is true with God. God knows exactly who he is. He's not trying to explain himself. He's just merely making the statement that in the beginning, God created. So the very beginning, this is being penned out for us. And it's being, and this was initially just verbally transmitted one person to another. Remember, they lived for long periods of time in the very beginning. You know, the ultraviolet rays were so much less on the face of the earth. There's a lot of science behind all of that for you who are into science. But anyway, this whole idea, when we get into this, this is the most important thing that I think you could walk away with today is that if you can get past the idea and believe and embrace the truth that God created the heavens and the earth, if you can, if you can get past that, the rest of your Bible is going to be easy to understand and to have faith and to believe in. Because you see, I read this next, this latter part when we get into the, the very first part of uh, chapter 3, the last part of what I was reading. It says, then God said. This is, this is all it says, then God said. And it's in, in you know, quotes with a comma and then it moves on. Nine times in Genesis 1, it says, then God said. I wanted to start with this because as we go through this little journey we're going to take together every day, three to five minute commitment, we're not looking for much from each other, but we're looking for just a little bit. If you can spend three to five minutes, you're going to get a little portion of every book of the Bible, 66 different books. And so I wanted to set that pace as we start today. Then God said. How important is that for each one of us to understand that God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. So important. God said that he created the heaven and the earth, all the things contained therein. God, God made it. And this is the interesting thing is God spoke it into being. How powerful is our God? How powerful is the one we're connected to? Well, I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week as we go forward, and a wonderful year as we spend time together each and every day at Devo Today. God bless you. Man, remember, God said it. He's going to do it. You can trust him. Enjoy your start of this day.